What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Uh, man, today, me, P. Diddy, and uh, Gerald, we're pretty excited. Uh, this is actually Preston's field, correct? Yep. Your big, field? Big shout out to Buddy Edwards. Buddy Edwards. Buddy Edwards. Thank you, thank you for allowing us to hunt this. We are smack dab. You would think, <laughs> the clients, when we pulled up, there's a construction crew literally, literally not even 50 yards behind us building a huge new building. Uh, we're in the heart of the city, but it is a county field. Um, this field does not get hunted other than us. Nope. Um, mallards, lots of geese. Uh, it is a planted wheat field, real fluffy. Uh, the, de <laughs> the deal today is we could have 60, 50 <laughs> mile an hour gusts of wind. Extremely warm today. Regular clothes. I don't have anything underneath a hoodie. I'm, and pants. I'm sweating in just this. It's a south wind and it's pulling all this gulf moisture up. The, the roads are soaked with humidity this morning. It's really <coughs> weird uh, to have this type of weather mid December. We've been saying that all fall and winter now. Yeah, yes, we have. It's warm. Anyways, A frames today. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. You got anything to add to it? Uh, cool. Cool to be able to hunt this field. I know he loves it when we hunt it. Yeah. Um, we only got to hunt it once last year because it was beans. But yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's in a sweet spot. It is a sweet, sweet, sweet field. Everybody hear me? Yep. Yep. Uh, just like yesterday, we all hunted out of A frames. Today, it's even more critical about holding your gun at all times with these wind gusts. If we don't have a hold of them, or you don't have them tucked in a corner where they cannot fall, uh, a gun will fall today. I promise you. So that is literally the the main thing on the uh, on the agenda is to hold your guns because they will blow. These A frames are gonna do all this. So other than that, don't bust each other's ear out. Oh man, these A frames are blowing, dude. Crazy wind. It's crazy. We have a little bit of sea behind us. We got some structure. It's actually a big log pile. Uh, it's blocking the wind a little bit. Uh, the gusts of wind today. They said possible. Oh my goodness. Possible 70 mile an hour winds today. Um, I guarantee you they're gusting. What do you think they're gusting? 40, 45 right now. So the radio said. 30 mile an hour consistent, gust up to 50, and this evening 70 mile an hour. Oh my god. The whole, and the whole country is getting it. Yeah, Aaron's getting 50 mile an hour in it's Iowa. Stopping the rain. mojos. Yeah, it's stop. So yeah, so the, mo <laughs> the mojos, the wind is stopping it. It's locking up the wings. This is the move. You just can't let go of your gun today um, because it's going to fall over. You about had your camera fall over a couple times already. Yeah. It's slapping this A frame around. Slapping the bass. A duck band would be great. Dude, a duck band would be amazing. I've killed one in my life. Me too. This one right here? One duck band? Ever one. in my life. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's the only one I've ever seen, personally. I've seen several. Come on, be banded. Come on, Archie. Bring the heat. Oh my god. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Mallard down. Um, didn't get the camera on. They came out of nowhere. This wind, I don't know if they're... I'm gonna go. Must have came from the back. Um, gonna start sporting. The three GoPro, duck, three ducks right, up top, right up top, right up top. Here we go. Out front. Bruce is up. Oh god. Now the wind is literally stopping the wings on the Mojo. Why? You see them trying to get, trying to move their flicker. Does it look good? <laughs> it was pretty. Hey, I mean, I got them both getting shot, but I was. Not Dude, they come that. so fast. Those ducks came across the entire field at two foot off the ground in this wind. Barely seen them coming. They came straight to the mojo, though. They loved it. I mean, straight to the mojo. I about shot that son of a gun, man. Nice. Back. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Uh, which brings me to my next point. If you guys have not checked out the old Uncut Outdoors, a lot of us hunting YouTubers are over there now. Uh, exclusive content will be going over there that will not be on this channel on YouTube. It's funner. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot more fun. Um, we get to do what we want. We don't have to censor things. Old P Diddy doesn't have to over edit everything and put a bleep or take out all the cuss words or maybe a beverage of some sort. The fat tattooed guy. Yeah, yeah. Your, your language 
can be naturally foul in those videos. It's a gift. It's a gift of nature. But uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, I will always link it down in the description. Again, there's a lot of us hunting YouTubers that are honestly probably going to pull a lot of our videos. Um, our schedules will start going over there, and you're going to see less uploading here. So just want to warn you. We gotta go spread out some decoys for Shirley. I'll show you the setup. Don't mind the wind. Uh, look at the hide. There's some big logs in front. Got a big building in back. Told you we were in the heart of the city. All right, move some decoys. We're gonna shove some out. Try to get some decoys out here. First thing the clients asked when they came in, they were like, so Wednesday and Thursday, her Thursday is supposed to be, Wednesday, Wednesday supposed to be 40 mile an hour winds. Do you hunt in that? We try. Shoot him guys. We go good shooting guys good shooting one two three four five six good shooting Well, we killed a cool one. Yeah. Under the wings, that's a lot of white. Not usually, normal. You usually get a little bit, but right, that's a bunch. He's pretty cool. He's a short, chubby little guy. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. Yeah. If if they don't mount him, we will. Oh, one one mm. sip left. <laughs> We're good for another two goes. <laughs> He did it. You came through with the hard gummy bears. <laughs> the the month-old gummy bears. Oh, they're so good. One of my favorite snacks ever. Um, real quick though. I know you're probably wondering. Free field. Yeah, free. We don't get any. Any, yeah. Any free hunting anymore. Now that we're guiding, I'm guiding, whatever. There's no free hunting. Thankfully. This guy likes Preston a lot. In airplanes. We are in the city. We've heard <laughs> we've heard cop sirens. We've heard train trains, trains <laughs> horns, jack, people. jackhammers, peace, people, music. They're all just sitting back there in the garage door watching. Are they really? <laughs> yeah, there's are like six really? of them lined up. Just watch that whole mob come in and get rigged. <laughs> 
anyways back to the free hunting we don't get much of it so big big shout out yet again buddy edwards buddy edwards buddy thank maury you. you met maury in the burning yeah. burning season but yeah they uh i was like we'll pay you because it's such an awesome field and he's like you know you don't have to do that so i went and got him a little gift from the liquor store yeah what'd you get him i got him uh some Boots scotch down. and oh. a nice bottle of wine <laughs> nice bottle of mm -hmm. wine he's a big big he's wine drinker uh-oh but other news we just had a flock of pigeons go over <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but honestly, we really appreciate um, the very, very, very few fields that we get to hunt for free. The very, very few ponds that we get to hunt for free. Um, we are making money out here. And a lot of you guys ask, hey, how much does it cost for lease fills and this and that? Let me tell you, it's not cheap. It is not cheap. You're talking minimum ballpark. And I'm just going to give you a ballpark. Minimum $50 a gun every time you hunt. So that's, that'll just, if you have 10 guns, if you have 12 guns, well, there you go. Some fields are $100 a gun every single time you hunt. Uh, I think our most expensive hunt that we've done this year was a, yeah, it was a 12 man about 45 minutes away from the, from the lodge. And it was $1,200 to hunt it for just that morning only. So if, if y'all, if any of you out there are going, Guides don't pay farmers, guides don't pay landowners, they just sneak around and lie and do this, and da da da. No, well, we don't. Whoever you know that's doing that, don't compare them to us because we fork out a lot of cheddar to do this. That's what they've been doing all morning right there, folks. They come charging over the field, fighting the wind, ooh, coming right to you, and then they just slide off. There's a feed north of us and directly south of us, so. Between the wind, the between the birds fighting the wind and seeing the live bird feeds, we're kind of in the middle of a poop show with the weather and everything. <laughs> a poop show, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, essentially. If this was uncut outdoors, I could say the other word for poop show: chart. Yeah, that too. Anyways, not going too bad though for the conditions, you know. We're over 20. Are we? Right around 20. Really bad ducks and <coughs> Free fill. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Yeah, I got the camera today. Yeah. You're like, yeah, I see the camera. How are you? Fired up, ready to go. Fired up. Sleep good? Yeah. Good. Get you a breakfast burrito. Oh, that was good. How are you boys feeling down here? Ready? Ready. Good? Ready. Good? Slip good. So Good, ready for a field duck hunt. Absolutely. And a long drive to go with it. <laughs> oh, old Burtis. Oh, breakfast burrito time, baby. Ooh, that bad boy right there. That's a lifesaver every time. Look at the uh, lockers. These are full. These aren't. Huh. It's time to roll out. Uh, leave time today is 4.30. Uh, this is the first day these clients have been here. Uh, we welcomed them here yesterday with 70 mile an hour winds. Yeah, it got crazy. Uh, it didn't look like planet Earth yesterday, put it that way. But we got to send it about an hour and a half, right? Hour and a half drive? Yep. Okay, hour and a half drive. Field duck hunt. We don't get very many of those. So we're really taking advantage of it getting our butts out there even though it's a long drive because over here in our parts we just don't get the field duck hunts so gonna give her a go come along with us I'm uh, I'm really glad y'all are here we're having a blast this season and uh, a lot of good hunting lots of good hunting if you guys are interested in booking a hunt here for this season we do have some availability in January and February yes hit me up on Instagram right here I can get you taken care of and get you booked up. How's it going? Going pretty good, going pretty good. Ready to go out and burn up some birds. You're not sick this time. No. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited, <laughs> definitely. Uh, Andrew, Jason, welcome back. Glad to be back. Glad we're, you guys are back, man. We're uh, excited. Last year, old dad, he got sick, came down with the big C. That's right. Wow, it was the first day you got here. Yes. And you had to go grab a hotel and yep. keep everybody else safe. 
That's right. That's we, right. Uh, we all really appreciated it then, but it really sucked for you. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I'm excited. Right. I'm excited to hunt this year and we'll make up for it. Absolutely. <laughs> I know you will. All right. Look who's with us. Oh, Frederick. Come here, buddy. Hi. Oh, sit, sit. You excited, buddy? Yeah, look at him. He is excited. Are you as excited as Fred is? I'm pretty excited. What do you got there? You got a Red Bull. Oh, oh, gives you wings, baby. Anyways, we're ready to go all set up. What are you thinking? Uh, I like the spread. We added, so Gil and I hunted this a couple days ago. Yeah. Uh, awesome cornfield. The ducks are loving it. And what do we add? 10 dozen more duck decoys? Yeah, a lot of full body ducks. We're yeah. running. Uh, what, how many? Ten dozen full body ducks, probably, and then I bet it's more than that. No, six, I bet it's like uh, six spinners. Yep. Fifteen yep. dozen full body ducks, four dozen goose. Yeah. Let's get in there. Let's get set up. Yeah, not a bad setup. That uh, we whipped that out in probably what twenty five minutes. Yeah, we got here at six thirty. Yeah. Not bad. Big shout out to Kenyon Dog. Thank you, man. Absolutely. If it wasn't for Kenyon, we would not be able to get out here and do these duck hunts. Honestly, because. He scouts for us out here. It's an hour and a half drive for us, so for us to get out here and scout every day would almost be impossible. Don't forget what he scouted in yesterday. 80 mile an hour winds. Yeah. And that storm that rolled through. He Unreal. was in. They were feeding in the middle of that big ass or big storm. Big ass. Don't load up yet. Yep. yep. Um, real quickly, everybody probably hunted out of A frames. Um, so no bust in ears. You got yes. your lanes yep. right here. You can shoot, you know, up here. You yeah. on the end, you'll have full range to shoot that way. Yeah. Um, do not, do not lean your guns up against this metal railing. Okay. You don't leave them there. This will shake, someone will bump, they will, I promise you, fall over. Yes. So, safety, safety, safety. I've, on, on every hunt, um, prior to guiding, when we, before I started talking about it so much, one fell every time so um, that's the biggest issue if you want to let go of your gun tuck it up under here and lean it up against here so barrel in here yeah. here you guys in the corners you can you know find a corner stuff your barrel up in there if you don't want to hold it anymore yeah. i yeah. recommend when the birds are coming in won't be so much of an issue today uh, about your heads being up we're pretty blinded in go ahead when i move stand up pull up your gun through this because this is real brittle. Mm. Watch your eyeballs on this. Like you, if you don't break it, you can you can split it a little bit and make gotcha. yourself a lane. A lane. Um, just don't break it over. It was real expensive, but get comfortable with this Not really this. stiff yeah. brush to shoot through. If we need to move a little bit. We can, uh, but get comfortable with your gun in it. In it. <coughs> well, I gotta run Fred, but between me and Preston, we're gonna be sporting the single shot 410. The only ammo I have in my bag is a pack of five, <laughs> five shells, uh, tungsten TSS, turkey loads, steel, well no, tungsten turkey loads. So if we get some singles, we might try to plow them over with the old single shot 410. But Frederick's ready to go. He's been doing amazing this season. I couldn't be more proud of him. A lot of you guys have been asking how he's doing with his hip dysplasia. He's doing amazing. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even know he had it. <laughs> Shoot the single out front, guys. Nice, nice shooting, nice shooting. Fred! Good dog. Did he have it down? <laughs> oh, you're right on it. Over the right. Come on, Freddy. Oh, yeah. Good boy, here. Fetch it up. Good. First duck down. Good shooting. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Good boy, heel. Green head. Sit. Sit. Drop. Good. That's a big old stud green head. Uh, that was beautiful, dude. Was <laughs> Smash the thumbs up button. Come on. Come on. Come on. Duck hunting, man. Been, we've been doing too many goose hunts. Duck hunting feels good. <laughs> Shoot him! Nice! Fred! Good dog. He is not breaking. 
It clicked again. Good job. Good shooting. Three of the four, boys. You want another gun? Um, hey, yeah, you, you want to... Well, you got the 410. Grab the 410, oh, yeah, baby. Here, Fred. Um, fetch it up. Hold. Hold. Yeah, load up that 410, Preston. Here, here. Good dog. Here. Drop. Fred. Man, you smashed that one. That's a big stud. Look at that big old greenie. Checking for bands, no bands, boys. Fetch it up, he. Look at him, he's on it today. Come on, buddy. Good, good, sit, drop, Fred. One more. Good marks for old Frederick today. We got some tall corn out here. He's doing great, low light, marking birds. Not shopping too bad. Fetch it up, dead bird, Fred. There he goes. Dead bird. Oh. Good dog, all three birds. Come on, let's go. Right here. Drop. Good. Shoot the single. Fred! Yeah, they were hard to work. I figured we ought to just take the shot. What do you think? Uh, I want to try killing the mojos if they get over it. As you can see, we are back at the shop. The shop. The lodge. I'm tired, if you can't tell. First, before we look in the gigantic smoker, you know, we got dinner going. Uh, Bert had to head out he's got to go to a Christmas function uh, so we got P. Diddy taking over the sticks like always he's the best backup cook ever thank you thank you P. Diddy as well as before we get any farther guys let's get P. Diddy to 20k on Instagram how far are you now I'm getting there I don't know 800 800 away yeah if y'all haven't followed any of you haven't followed P. Diddy he does all of the editing all the cameraman he's a guide he's a scout he's a cook Preston does it all y'all have known present for a lot of years go give him a follow his stories are always the best because you're the only one with your phone out during the hunts i'm the only one that does it so he tags sand hill and then i share it yeah thanks anyways open her up what do we got going we got ooh, covered. covered we got pork butts and brisket <laughs> you said ooh covered let's see that's the brisket oh ooh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And... pork butts and brisket for dinner baby we got 175 yeah, that's about perfect. It needs to be up a little bit more. Yeah? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, baby. But they've been on since four, so. Four this morning. They're getting there. Oh, oh. Yeah, that'll be good. So about the hunt, y'all know we always come back. I kind of evaluate the hunt. Uh, this was our second time hunting that field. We hunted it last, last week when we had a bunch of fair weather. Uh, at least it was cold, but the weather was um the same every day yesterday we had 80 mile an hour winds and i'm sure a lot of you did too what's that do to the birds you might ask well it completely scatters them um for one thing with 80 mile an hour winds they cannot travel to eat they cannot travel far at all if at all so we both split up we took four gerald took six they went and goose hunted we both experienced the exact same thing the birds wanted to fly today. They were pinned down all day yesterday. They lifted off the roost today and they wanted to get some wing time in. Not necessarily moving out, but they wanted to go fly huge laps and find new fields. So all in all, big reset. That wind, yesterday's weather, huge reset with the birds. So now we're on a crazy streak, crazy hunts, limiting literally, literally every single day, no matter how many people we had. Yeah. to today after yesterday and, and now we got to let things kind of get back in the groove you got to let it, these birds get threw, comfy again threw some stuff off these birds got to get back on these fields acquire a schedule again yeah um yeah just basically a big reset there's nothing we can do about it uh we both shot the same amount of birds today oh really yeah six and six they all shot a spec that's wild isn't that crazy not even one lesser so 
The birds we seen, they wanted to fly. The birds they seen flew over them and they wanted to fly. They were not decoy worthy. So praying uh, for a little more scheduled birds coming here. It seems like we have a good weather streak coming with uh, light, light variable north winds, cold temperatures in the morning. That's when Kansas thrives. That's when we do our job well. That's when old Frederick gets to do what he loves most. And that's hunt. Other than chilling and sleeping in my bed with the family, he's a hunting boy and he wants to get some birds. If you guys have not checked out Uncut Outdoors, uh, we are doing exclusive videos over there that are raw, uncut. We get to do everything that I can't do on here. Like be myself and say the words I want to say, do what I want to do. So Uncut Outdoors is a new platform that is hosting uh, a handful of us hunting YouTubers that have an audience like a lot of yourselves that are sick of seeing us getting demonetized and suppressed. So um, it's working out really well so far. Everybody's really liking it. Like I said, there will be videos that you will not see on here over there. And eventually, hopefully, a lot of content can start moving over there and uh, not having to worry about making Google mad or something. So check it out. It's always in the description. Uncut Outdoors. Use my link. Whenever you click on my link, it gives me some credit. And I, you don't know how much I appreciate it. So subscribe if you have not. I uh, hope you guys are getting out there enjoying the season. Please be safe. Uh, we've been filming a lot of the safety speeches at the beginning of the hunts. I hope that you guys are taking something from that. Safety, 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 gun safety, guys. Not only gun safety, boat safety. Don't overload the boats. It's getting cold. It's getting icy. You can drown very easily in waders. You know me. Always giving you my tips. Be safe out there, but until next time.